Hi, this is Michael from FarmDog. I'm going to show you how the web dashboard works. So the dashboard holds uh, all of your fields and the data that's collected from the app. So if you click any of your fields, you will then find the history of what was entered into the app. And you'll see the place markers. You'll be able to see images. If you click any images, you'll have an icon. You can click the photo, and it'll all come up here. You can also go to the Reports tab, where you will see the data that was entered from the app sorted by day. So that will give you an overview of what was scouted on that day or in the past week. You can also go to the graph and see how pest or disease evolved over time. So if you, you can unclick the pests and disease that you don't want to see. So I'm just going to leave the loopers. So you can see how that evolved over time. And if I know that I sprayed here, then I know how effective that spraying was. Click off, click on the different pests and disease. So these are all straight lines. But basically, you'd see a graph here of how the pest evolved over time. So let's see how we create a field. Uh, you can start by finding uh, your farm. So let's just say I have a farm in Salinas in California. And I'm just going to take a some kind of a random field that I find here just for the example. So I'm going to set up, a, let's say, a tomato field over here. So I'm going to click Fields and Create New Field. And then I'm just going to click the edges of my corners of my field. You can either double click or click the first corner to close the shape. And then I'm going to name my field. I'll call it T1 or say Tom Meto 1. If I like, I could redraw the polygon. If I didn't get it correct the first time, I can just redraw it. Uh, I, can, I can also manually tweak the acreage if the calculation was wrong. I have an auto calculator. You can add a farm name, a client name. Uh, I'm going to put in the tomato. You, you only have to put in a field name and a crop type to get the field set up for the app. Then you can optionally put in variety, planting name, planting notes, a planting date. So I'm going to save this. Now this will come up on the app, and it will be uh, you'll be able to, to scout it from the app. Um, if I click it, I can go back and edit it. If, for example, I'd want to say that I have two plantings on this field, I might have a rounds planting, and maybe have another planting, which is Romas. So I'm going to create another planting, indicate that it's tomatoes, put in. So you know what? Let's call this cherry. I'm going to save that. So now I have two plantings on this field, and I can I'm going to save that. I'll be able now to toggle between the different plantings from this drop-down menu up here. OK, so just so you know, uh, you also have the option of importing your fields from uh, if you have a John Deere op center. Then you'll click on the import, and you'll have to sign into your account. And after you sign in, you'll approve FarmDog to grab your data from your John Deere account, and it will be imported into FarmDog. Uh, you can also send us your shape files if you have any shape files, uh, preferably uh, KML or KMZ files, and we'll be able to uh, upload those into your account. Just send them to me via email on uh, to michael at farmdog .ad. Um And also, if you have any other questions uh, and or you want a one-on-one -on -one training, then feel free to reach out, and I'll be happy to help. Um, yeah, so enjoy.